Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda and Chloe Flower and I are back today with another do-it-yourself Shopkins video. And today I want to walk you through how to make these super adorable Chloe Flower themed Shopkins cupcakes. Now these are perfect for any birthday party or maybe you just want to do something really cool together with one of your kids, right? So let's see what we're going to need to make this project. You're going to need some frosting. Now I made a batch of royal icing, but I'm sure that you could use the frosting from a tub from the grocery store and you'll be fine. You'll need a frosting spreader. Now you can use one of these really cool Wilton metal ones if you have it, but mine was too big and so I just used my little Fred spreader finger. You're going to need some couplers. Now these are what's used to attach the tips to the actual frosting bags. Um, at least two, preferably three if you have them. Um, and you're going to need two different tips. Now this is a Wilton star tip. It's a medium size. This is the star tip number 21 from Wilton. Um, you're also going to need the Wilton leaf tip to make the leaves on Chloe Flower. And you're going to need some colors. Um, I have uh, Wilton leaf green, uh, Wilton lemon yellow, and Wilton black. Um, and of course we're going to use just regular white uncolored frosting. Um, you're going to need some frosting bags and a Ziploc bag, just one. Uh, and then you're gonna need Wilton food decorating gel in red for Chloe Flower's mouth. It's cheaper to buy this than to buy another red one. Uh, you're gonna need some cupcakes, obviously, because we're making cupcakes. I chose strawberry because they're my favorite. So let's get started. We're going to take a regular raw, I mean, you know, undecorated cupcake, and we are going to start it off by coating it with white frosting because we're making the white Chloe flower and we're just going to do a thin layer of frosting all over and we're going to smooth out the bottom half because this is where Chloe flower's face is going to be and I don't want any of the cupcake to show through the frosting and whatever it looks like on top doesn't really matter because we're going to fill it in with some texture right now. So again, thin layer of white all over. Make sure you spread it out and smooth it out towards the bottom half where Chloe Flower's face is going to go. So let's um, use a toothpick and just kind of freehand a half circle. And this is where we're going to have Chloe Flower's face. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, right? So whatever design you put, I'm sure it's going to look really great. Don't worry if it's too small. If you think it's too small or if you think it's too big, I'm sure it's really it's going to come out super cute and really pretty. So I have filled a bag with all white and I've put my star tip. Now I'm tracing along the outline we made for Chloe Flower's face with stars. Now this is a really easy motion to do. All you're doing is you're firmly pressing on the bag and kind of pressing down and lifting the bag up and you're creating these really cute little star um, designs all over, giving Chloe Flower some texture, making it look like a cauliflower head and I have filled in everything except her face. Now we're gonna have to work on the leaves. Now the Wilton leaf tip is not that wide and I wanna make this wide leaf on the top of her head so what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and put three leaves in. I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm turning the cupcake around and I'm starting from the back and I'm going forward and I'm in the middle, right in the middle of the cupcake because I want this to be coming down right into her forehead. And that's the first leaf and I'm gonna put two more in and this is a, a motion where all you're doing is you're squeezing the bag and that leaf is gonna come out with the texture already to it and if you want when you're as you're pressing down like this you can move your bag back and forwards to create a wavy motion to the leaf there and there we have it three at the top and then Chloe has two uh, leaves at the side which are kind of like her arms and let me do this last one and again you're squeezing down on the bag and you're just rocking your hand back and forth back and forth to get that wavy texture if you want it and this is using the Wilton leaf tip and how cute is this it is really coming along and it's not even that hard look how look how quickly we we got these first two steps done so what we're gonna work on next is Chloe's face so I'm going to start with her mouth 
and her mouth's pretty easy it's just a little bit open like she just kind of has a, a little smile on her face and I'm going to just open up that tube of red gel and I'm going to make a half circle here and then fill it in and this is her mouth and again I use the red gel because it's so much easier than having to clean another bag and buy another tip and buy another food coloring so I just bought the red gel way easier now here's where the Ziploc baggie is going to come in. I have um, colored some of my white frosting black and I've put it in this bag to make a very, 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 very fine tip. And I don't think that Wilton makes a tip small enough for this. Well, at least not small enough for me. So what I did was I, I filled the Ziploc bag with the black frosting and I cut off the tiny, tiny, most minuscule little section from the tip to create a, a little exit path for my frosting and see how fine this has made my black lines. I mean it is just super thin which is exactly what we need for Chloe's face. If you don't feel like you can handle this then by all means go ahead and use a, a regular tip from Wilton, the real thin circular one, but it's not going to be as fine as uh, using this little Ziploc baggie method. Alright, those are her eyebrows. And let me put the eyeballs in. So is the hardest part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put two dots because I need a space where I'm gonna start each eyeball so I kind of know where I'm gonna end up and where I'm going here. Okay, so two dots just to space it out and mark it. Dot one and dot two. Okay. And here we go. And here comes her eyeballs. And so it's going to be like a really sharp half circle. And I'm coming up with another half circle. And I'm not leaving that much space because her eyes are a little squinty. And Chloe does have um, eyelashes at the ends of her eyes. So I'm going to poke those in. And she has some eyelashes at the front of her eyes. And we'll put those in as well. Okay. And her eyeball. And we're going to fill it in with some black and leave a small section in the middle with some white showing through for, um, you know, just a glint of her actual eye. Now, we're going to just repeat this on the other side with her other eyeball. And Chloe, again, she comes in two colors. She comes in white and she also comes in yellow. It's the exact same process, except with the yellow, instead of using the white frosting like we use here, um, I took that lemon yellow Wilton frosting, or Wilton, Wilton frosting color, and I mixed it together with uh, a little bit of the green to make it that greenish yellowy color that uh, the yellow Chloe flower is. And I used the exact same green frosting that I'm using here on the white one um, for her leaves. And I'll show you her in just a second. Let me just put this eyeball in. And these, uh, these eyes, they're not going to come out perfect, and that's okay. Let's see. Get these uh, end eyelashes in. There we go. And she's all done. Well, that didn't come out. That didn't come out the best it could have. But you know what? Hey, she looks super cute, right? All right. So here we go. Chloe flower in white. And again, you can follow this entire process to do Chloe flower in yellow if you wanted to. And here's Chloe flower in yellow. And see, I got that really pretty. It's like almost dead on impression of the Shopkins by mixing the lemon yellow with a little bit of the leaf green and that's how I got that almost like a neon greenish yellow for her body and the same leaf the same leaf green that I used for the white Shopkin I used for the yellow Shopkin and let's see her in white and these came out so adorable you can make a whole set make 12 perfect for a party um Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. 
for other do-it-yourself Shopkins related videos and take a look around my page and see if there's anything else you're interested in making.